Okay, in the video a while ago, I kind of talked about some text features or graphic features. Um, and we talked about this before Christmas, but I kind of just wanted to review with you what they are and why. Why does an author put all of these extra things in a book, in a nonfiction book? And it's because they help us understand what we read. When we're reading nonfiction things and we're learning facts about things, we need all the extra stuff to help me understand it better. And so I just wanted to go through a couple of these things and um, so that you understood their purposes. And um, the main thing is, is that you're not skipping over these text features. Like if there is a little bitty chart to the side with some bullet points that you're reading that. If there is a caption with a picture that you're reading that caption with that picture. If there's a diagram that you're reading that diagram and looking at those labels to help you understand what the story is about. So the first one we have is the table of contents, and that is usually going to be in our bigger chapter books and things like that. Um, and that just helps me know where to find information in the book. That's all it does. It helps me know where to go to find certain information. The next one we have is a caption, and this one is so important because it tells me about the photo or the drawing. I can make an assumption. I can make an inference about what I think the picture's about. But if there's a caption, it's telling me what the picture's about. And I need to read that so I know exactly what they're talking about. Um, they're going to give us headings, um, just like we read about while ago in our, um, in our story. Each heading is going to tell me what that section of the story is about. It's basically the main idea of that section. So if they're giving you a heading, you need to read it. Okay, this section, like we read earlier, was about starting a new mission. This one right here is going to be about something that was dangerous ahead. They were put in a bad situation. So those headings are really important because they let me know what's going on. Next, we have maps. And the maps just don't show me, show me water or land. Sometimes they might show me where certain things are on the map or help me understand where I could find. I know one time we did a story and on the map it had the ring of fire with the volcanoes. And the question said, the author included the graphic feature of the map to help me understand what? Well, it was to help me understand where the volcanoes are located, not where I can find the country at or where to find a volcano, but to show me where the ring of fire is. So sometimes that map helps me understand the location of things, not just land or where the water is. Um, then we have photographs, which goes back to the caption. Photographs are very, very important because they really help me understand what a person looks like. Um, for example, these astronauts or this astronaut on the moon, like, man, does it help me understand what that astronaut looked like, what the moon looked like, and what he was doing when he put that flag there. And so those, those photographs are important because they give us a good visualization of what is going on. And then sometimes you're going to see a diagram with labels, and that is going to help me better understand the parts of what the author is trying to teach me. Okay, so text features aren't just there for me to go, oh, that's a diagram or, oh, that's a heading. It's there to help me understand what I'm reading about. So make sure we're not skipping over those text features.